With that advertisement for Lyndon Johnson's 1964 presidential campaign, Tony Schwartz practically invented modern television political advertising in the U.S., an industry which is now crucial to the democratic process in the United States. He works and lives in this converted New York City church. And, television and he says what most people forget the about the so-called Daisy ad is that it never mentioned the name of Johnson's opponent, Barry Goldwater. It was a thing that evoked what was in people's minds, and that was that Goldwater had spoken for use of nuclear weapons three times in the previous year, once jokingly saying, we should drop a, a bomb in the men's room at the Kremlin, and two other times where he said we should use nuclear, tactical nuclear weapons to defoliate the jungles of East Asia, and three, where he said the European commanders should have sole discretion on the use of nuclear weapons. They shouldn't have to ask the president. So against that backdrop, people asked themselves, whose finger do I want on the trigger? While that television advertisement may be the work that Schwartz is best known for, his first love and success was with sound in radio and records. Taking one of the very first magnetic wire tape recorders, Schwartz went out and recorded the sounds of his hometown, New York City. The results were a dozen record albums and a number of awards. These were so successful, in fact, that they led to advertising agencies asking Schwartz to try a new approach to working with children. They were always using adults to imitate children because children couldn't read. But I was working with tape. I could just play a game with children. You say what I say. And they'd say my lines. I could work with three and four-year-olds. And they'd say my lines with their charm. And, uh, and I'd leave their mistakes in and so forth. And uh, the commercials I did just blew the field apart. Where the button? Did mommy look like that? Children love to imitate their parents. Children learn by imitating their parents. Do you smoke cigarettes? <laughs> Where others spend tens of thousands of dollars making small movies, Schwartz tries not to let the visual elements distract from the message. That's why it's so important to spend the minute in the voting booth voting for Abe Ribicoff because he has the knowledge and the experience to make sound decisions on the many complex problems we face here in Connecticut. And that's why we need him in Washington. <laughs> 